we have uh, perhaps 400 Dutch forces at Srebrenica, for example. And their, their lives were endangered by a military attack on them, and they radioed, called out for assistance for extraction. Uh, we would consider sending an emergency uh, rescue team in to pull them out. I apologize for the short notice on the invitation to appear, but uh, things are moving quickly here in the Congress. <clears throat> There's a lot of speculation that the intelligence was not adequate uh, in the uh, Captain O'Grady incident, uh, that uh, he was in effect lured into a trap. Is, uh, say something about that to us. Uh, I'm not satisfied at this point that we did the best job in transmitting, relaying the information to the person who most needed the information. And so uh, I think a major point of our lessons learned will be investigating not only the intelligence adequacy, but the adequacy of our procedures to relay intelligence to the person that needs us. Forces are located, as you can see here, in Croatia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, and in uh, Macedonia. A plan to help them withdraw from, uh, from the region. Uh, and it is now this plan that I would like to run through uh, with you, if I may. So this is, a, this is a plan we hope we do not have to implement. Uh, but if uh, the conditions arise, uh, we should be prepared to, and I think that's only the prudent thing to do. Fields uh, equally of limited capacity. Probably most limiting is the road network. What are the major infrastructure impediments to a withdrawal? Are, are there any? Uh, if, you, uh, uh, if you are referring to the infrastructure within Bosnia, there are many. Well, if, if we could, we, we, we should have done it yesterday. The problem is our hands are tied because of the Western governments preventing us to defend ourselves. That's, that's the problem. Thank you very much for your comment.